lovely place. I think Saikar, the meaning is trapping the elephants. So don't trap me, you trap the elephants only. And Saikar used to be a very isolated place at one point of time, 30 years back. People used to walk from here and go to Kumar Ghat, Kalashar, and life was very difficult in those days. But now you are living nearer to the highways. Life is much more easier. I used to inquire from Mr. Thanga. There are two Thangas. One Thanga has gone to heaven and another Thanga is still with us. So I used to inquire from him how much time it takes now to reach to Agartala, it takes nearly two hours. But some time ago when the highway was not there, it used to take around three, three and a half hours also. Life will be much more easier. Only the message I want to give is, we have to remain united. We are one and the same. Today why I did visit the Satanga Darlong? Because Bobo Khoroksa Tiprasa and Bobo Chini pride and I inquired about his family. Our Mr. Thanga was with me. I spoke to the ministers, secretaries. Borogno Nogrog Rinanbage and Koksaka. And also the water connection was not proper. I also inquired about it. And concerned minister had spoken to me. Yeah. Then and then they will take the action. Oh, yeah. Only unity can bring the strength. If we remain united, all of us will progress and develop. We have nothing against any community. We also want our rights. We are not against the Biharis. We are not against the Bengalis. We are not against the Punjabis. But we, the son of the soil, we won our rights. Chini rights man nangke chun thansa maatong nai. And sometimes I feel awkward to speak in Bengali or Hindi with uh, with Darlong or with uh, Halams and all this. Boni bagi chun kaisa language bo. We have to communicate in one language. So all of us if we speak at least one common language. I think unity will be much more stronger. And I am so happy now the children, even the Chakmas, the Dalongs and the Halams, Debarmas, Jamatias, all 19 tribes, mostly we speak in one common language. I was talking to Mr. Tanga. Your daughter speaks Kogborok? He says yes. And my wife also speaks Kogborok. Now, he also speaks Kogbar, but he does not speak with me. When I am not there, he speaks Kogbar. So it is good. Even some of the words, Hoibe, Changle, when you all speak, I also can understand a little bit. And then Hongro and all this. See, it is all when you keep speaking and you are with them. No language is difficult. All languages are same. So it is not that I cannot speak Darlong if I am made to stay for six, seven months. I will pick up. But we have to remain united. I am sure I can tell in front of the church, Maharaja is taking the Chaba forward and tomorrow Today he is leaving for Delhi. I am moving tomorrow for Delhi. Definitely some good things will come up for all of us. And once we get our constitutional rights, Saikar bo devala punnai, Khuai bo devala punnai, Darchoi, Maruai, all places, wherever we are ignored, we are denied, we will get our justice. That much I can tell. And I don't want to speak more because the security people also did not eat food from morning. 
we woke up at uh, I think around 5, 5.30 and we started at 7.30 in the morning. So let them enjoy the food and let me also take a little bit of food with Mr. Thanga. Then I will move to my office in Agatala. Jodhara, Dalai, Dalai, Hambai, thank you. May God bless you, all of you. Thank you.